Hello friends, so welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, one more tool in Kali Linux that the ethical hackers will use that is Sherlock tool. So this is an open source and uh, this tool is to find usernames from uh, different uh, social media networks. Right. So we can find uh, the username from different social media networks and this tool will be having around 250 plus websites and it will search for the given uh, username. Right. For example, if you have someone's username and want to know more about the username, just we can use this tool and it will show where this username is registered on the internet. That means it will from various uh, social media networks. Right, so this will be available in Python. So first let us open the Kali Linux and we have to install that and from there we have to give a username and then we will get the websites in which the username has been registered. Right, so I will show you and one more thing. So this is only for the educational purpose. Please don't uh, try for your uh, personal revenges. Right, so you can use for penetration testing. Right, so let us uh, log into the Kali Linux and uh, here go to the command prompt. So go to the command prompt and first uh, let us find out the Sherlock from the git. Git. So just go with the Sherlock github. So we will find the first one. So click on the first link. So github and press on the code down arrow. So here you can get a copy link. So just copy this one. And now open the terminal in the Kali Linux and here use a command git clone and uh, copy the link presenter sorry already exists let us uh, check ls yes already Sherlock is there just uh, let me remove that one and I will show you once again right so Sherlock I have removed yes yes so Yes. Now you can observe there is no folder with the Sherlock. Now let us uh, clone that one from the GitHub. So cloning into Sherlock. So it will install the package and after that we need to install the text which is a requirement text and this, this is the uh, tool which will be used in the requirements gathering. So that means a recon phase. So in our previous sessions, we have seen the life cycle of ethical hacking in that the first stage is a recon. That means footprinting or recon. So in order to gather the information, right? So this is one type of uh, requirements gathering tool, right? Because if you are having a username, we are getting a lot of user. I mean, the websites or links from where this user ID has been registered, right? Now, install Python 3 and M pip install hyphen r so install this requirements dot txt so install this one and from python just a second requirements dot txt so let us move on to the Sherlock and let us install here. Yes, now uh, you can use a command called Python 3 Sherlock hyphen hyphen version which give the version of this Sherlock 2. So here we are using the Sherlock tool uh, 0.14.3, right? And Python 3.10.8 version. And again, we can go with the help command. So double hyphen help, which gives all the commands which we can use. So among this, I will show you some. So Python 3 Sherlock and give the username here. So username, let us take any username. Okay, so I'll take the username 
computer so it will start searching for the username computer which was registered among a different websites in the social media see these are all the different websites so it will search among 300 uh, around 300 websites and it will find whether the, the the given username has been registered or not and here it will give the direct link if you click on this link directly it will open that particular website okay see and here you can see that there is some sort of delay okay so here the time is infinity so it will wait until it get response from that particular website so that's why it is somewhat delay we can also use a one more option called timeout where we have to specify the seconds so it will wait for that particular seconds and if the time beyond that particular uh, seconds automatically it will move on to the next website so after the, this we, we will see the timeout so it was taking a lot of time so i'll, I'll terminate this one so control z it will stop it will suspend and now let us check so python 3 sherlock hyphen hyphen timeout so timeout that means we are giving some threshold with the number of seconds i'll give one second so it will wait for only one second so if it is beyond one day one second that means if it was taking more than one second to find out so it will skip and it will go with the next one so i'll go with the computer the same thing and see so it will give see checking username computer on different websites so you will get uh, the complete websites where the computer username has been registered right so in order to use multiple usernames you need to check a multiple usernames then also you can use the same so by giving a space among different usernames you, that means we can search for multiple usernames at a time right see i'll suspend this one and see computer and sandeep so it will start searching checking username computer on so and so so after that it will check for sandeep see it was just moving so in an alphabetical order you can observe here so it will search in an alphabetical order and it will display all the links right so i will suspend it and now let us move on with the next one um, see print all print so a time timeout double hyphen print all that means it will display all the websites where it has been registered or not registered okay so i'll go with the my name itself sandeep sarathi so very few will be there see see it will it will give complete website list and it will give whether it is found or not found see here it was found in this particular website and it is found in this particular website kaggle elite code and uh, see it will search for all the websites so there will be some sort of delay don't worry see yes so you are getting not found out from that means we have not registered in these particular websites it it seems right so we have uh, registered only for few one so only 14 results that means where uh, the 14 websites have registered now in order to find only the registered websites right so print only found found give the username so it will print only the websites where the sandeep sarathi user id has been registered all right see we'll get all the links so here we have not given uh, yes so see so freelancer geeks for geeks hacker rank kaggle lead code so we're getting all these things so if you click on this link directly it will be redirected to that particular page okay see 